Good day folks. Today I'm going to show you how you can use AWS Lambda functions or serverless architecture to identify old or unused IAM access keys in your account. It is a security imperative to identify these keys and remove these vulnerabilities from your account. So sometimes there are a lot of keys and you might not be able to do that manually. So it is very good to have a Lambda function which are triggered by CloudWatch scheduled events which will go and scan your account for old user keys and then send an SNS email to your security operations team or to the end user itself so that they can go ahead and rotate their keys or delete their keys. So to do this demo, I have written a GitHub article. Let us go over and find out what is all needed to complete this demo. I will put the URL of this article in my description field so you can also follow it. And you can see here at the bottom of the screen, there are three to four prerequisites that are needed. One is a few IAM users who have old keys. So if I navigate to my IAM dashboard and you can find that there, there are three or four users which are having old keys here. Say for example, the cron user is having a key which is older than 17 days. And then I have a database backup user whose key is older than 18 days. Likewise, in a production account, you might have more users with a key of different ages. So the next prerequisite is having an SNS topic for your security operations team. I have gone ahead and set that as well. So here is my SNS topic and I also subscribe to this topic with my security operations team email address as well. So if you're not sure how to set up an SNS topic, go ahead and watch my video and you will be able to complete that and come back to this tutorial and follow it. So the next prerequisite that we need is an IAM role and that role needs to have these two permissions. You can go ahead and have more restrictive permissions, but for a demo purpose, these should be suffice for you. But in production, go ahead and ensure that you have more restrictive permissions. So if I go back to my IAM dashboard and here you can see here, I have a role which is called as serverless bot role and I've given those permissions as well. So the last step that is for us to do is go ahead and configure the Lambda function itself. So that is what we are going to do. And the entire code that does this job for us is given here. So I'm just going to copy it in advance so that we can go ahead and set it up there in our Lambda functions. So I'm heading over to my Lambda functions. Go ahead and create function. I'm going to call it as serverless IAM key old key sentry. So my sentry is going to identify old keys and notify me and it is written for Python 2.7. So choose that and remember the role that we have created. So go ahead and choose the role serverless bot role. Click on create function. Now my function is created. So let us go ahead and add the code that we are interested in. So just scroll down and remove the, all the pieces that is already there and put in the code that we copied from the GitHub article. So we are not yet done. There are two more things that we need to do. We need to give the input of the key age that I want to monitor. Say if my compliance team says that I want to rotate my key every 90 days. So by default, this script will scan for 90 days. If you want to give it a different age, say for example, every two days you want to rotate your key, go ahead and put it in your environment variable key age. And the next thing is I want to inform my Lambda function. What is my SNS topic? So I'm just going to give my SNS topic ARN as well. So let us go to SNS topic and copy my ARN and put it into my Lambda functions now. So I'm almost set now. Go ahead and click on save. So my Lambda function is set. So next thing is how do I trigger it every day on a schedule job? Go ahead and click on CloudWatch events and then go ahead and click on configure and then put in a rule here say I am old key sentry role. I'm going to give the same description and then I'm going to give an event pattern with or a scheduled expression. You can do it whichever way you want. And in this case, let us do a scheduled expression and say rate at the, every two minutes. I want to run it and then go ahead and click on add. So every two minutes, my account will be scanned for older keys and I will also get an email for that. So let us go ahead and click on save 
and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for a couple of minutes for the job to trigger and I should be getting an email soon in my inbox. So let us wait for that now. Of course, you can go ahead and click on test event as well. But since we have configured it to scan for every two minutes, we can be sure that our Lambda function will trigger and we'll be getting notified in a warm moment. There we go. I got an email from my SNS topic. It says SecOps. Let us go ahead and see what is the inside the email. So here you can see here the A key age cutoff that we gave is two days and then it found seven keys that are older than two days and it is listing all those seven keys and then it is also giving some more in, uh, information that is helpful for the security operations team to determine which user is having old keys and they can recommend the appropriate remedial action. So this is how you configure Lambda functions to keep your account in a more secure way. If you are having any trouble in setting it up, put them in the comment section. I'm happy to help them. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.